Hello, and welcome back to Escape to Reality. I'm Justine, and I'm that's my co-host in Seattle, Washington. Yeah, Washington. Pacific Northeast. Last night I stole a plane. Today I'm here recording a podcast. <laughs> a plane. From the cell. Yeah, you saw that story. A plane was stolen last night from the airport. A random airport worker took it for a ride and then crashed. I think he died. It was like a, a big plane, a big normal plane. Yeah, I don't I don't That's quite crazy. get how you get all the way to the airport and are able to steal a plane and take off, but <laughs> who fucking knows? Bizarre. And yeah, Bizarre. we can't even get a bottle of shampoo through, but <laughs> I know, right? I know, through security. Crazy. <clears throat> so what it do? So we're escaped to reality. We talk all things reality TV, specifically a lot of Bravo and a lot of random celeb gossip. We're just two friends who uh love to love to chit chat. Love to shoot the shit. Yes, exactly. Like 85 year old people sitting on a park bench. <laughs> That'll be us for sure. We'll be out on the porch. Hopefully not somewhere terrible. Geneva's going to live to be 105. Oh, yeah? How old are you going to live to? I'll probably live to be 88. 88? I don't think That's I'll hit 90. Long yeah, line. I'll probably. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do uh, Vogue's 73 questions. They're rapid fire so you guys can continue to get to know us. We are currently on... Uh, 21 of 73 so <laughs> stick in there guys <laughs> okay All right. I'm gonna start. <laughs> right you got a while uh question number one what is your current tv obsession it would be space tv what space tv like people go into space because earth is gone to shit and they got to go to mars and make a whole new life there and it's just interesting amazing i love it okay favorite app my new favorite app is called D-O-S-H, or maybe drop. They both where you spend money and you make money. So it's a little... Uh, Explain. You um you can go to places and you get like 5% cash back or, um, or this drop app. You pick five places that you go to a lot, like Starbucks, Target, McDonald's. I, have, I put McDonald's on there because I have a hash brown every day. It's horrible. And... Um, so you you get points and then you can get gift cards and stuff. So it's cool. All right. That's good. All right. Secret talent. Yeah. Uh, my secret talent is I can suck a dick like no other. My God. <laughs> no, let's cut that. Let's cut that. Let's cut that. <laughs> secret <laughs> talent. <laughs> secret talent. I don't know why it goes to that. Secret talent. Um, <laughs> Most adventurous right. oh, thing you've ever Oh, God. Oh, God. It's horrible. <laughs> All right. I guess that's what we're going with. People are like, this girl's really just overly sexual. Most adventurous thing you've done in your life? My most adventurous thing is maybe gone up in a slingshot thing at Darien Lake with my brother, and they sling you through the air. Mm. It's not really that adventurous. Ugh. More stupid. How would you define yourself in three words? I would define myself as loving, overthinker, <laughs> uh, and crazy. Yeah, that's perfect. Accurate. <laughs> All right. What you got for me? What's the favorite piece of clothing that you own? Oh, God. I have an entire closet room, so that's so hard. But anything leopard. Probably one of my, like, kimonos. I love leopard. Yeah, yeah. Something I do I love that. grow on and be flowy. Uh, must have clothing item. Everyone should <laughs> Everyone should have, <laughs> like, a kimono, like, situation that they can throw on over an outfit that just turns it up and gives a vibe. And I don't even have one. And it is oh nice. God. It really glamorizes your life i have like put some sunglasses on you, you got nice big hair it's, yeah. it works there you go go to go to boca she was a showgirl all right superpower you would want reading people's minds yeah that's a good one what's inspiring you in life right now except for me mm, well you inspire me daily um but i joking. would say what's inspiring me People keeping up the resistance under Trump. These so people protesting yes. gives me life, especially the children. It's beautiful, the especially youth. those the mothers that are moms on demand. They're against the shooting. They're yes. fighting against the the. It's, it's, guns it's very nice. Yeah, good one. Yeah, I think it's cool. People are nice. Best piece of advice you've received. 
best piece of advice um i think i think i said this to you before but like my dad telling me that like when you're talking to friends about relationships and shit like to never actually really give your opinion because <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> and they're not gonna listen to you yeah they do what they want anyways so you just gotta be a friend and uh so essentially not getting involved in people's bullshit yes yeah, a crash and burn and uh, you know even after you break up with somebody don't tell someone you know that guy was a cocksucker because you don't want to hear it you know yeah yeah you just want to say like let's go together. get drunk yeah yeah no people's yeah you got to keep your but i do i try to yeah it gets hard sometimes with some friends but i i have kept my mouth shut because um anytime you do try to like say your real thoughts they do get offensive so yep it sucks but yeah that's that's what twitter's for to get yelled at by strangers (laughs) yeah justine had a bad tweet incident from our uh from our account so don't worry about it geneva's the tweeter for our show if you see any rogue tweets it's not me um justine doesn't know the line (laughs) you don't know the line (laughs) <laughs> so true so that's, i have a uh, question for yes. we have a guest we have a guest in studio yeah, today in studio. and her name her name is munch that's her nickname and um geneva life. can give a quick rundown of who she is if, or whatever but yeah what yeah whatever she's geneva's <laughs> best friend <laughs> yeah they've known we each other her- since when you were you were um what second gr- or kindergarten how how old did you not guys not quite i mean um munch was raised in the bilingual environment so we didn't interact until um oh, middle school okay. she's called does munch speak spanish fluently no we definitely we've definitely had some sketchy incidents in mexico where she's not helped us out at all with her spanish um <laughs> but we'll leave that for another day but we call her munch uh, because she is um a very small person who can eat an insane amount and so the nickname munch has stuck she's She's a really nice, sweet person, and she doesn't look anybody excited. would love her. She won't come towards me for the question. But I have a question. I have a. I have. I'm pissed off at a corporation called Wetzel's Pretzels. Okay. Now every single time I go there, I get a shitty pretzel, and I am that person. I'm spending. It's not a lot of money, but you know, you're. You, it's a treat. It's supposed to be hot and fresh and delicious. Why can't they just drop you a fresh? A fresh one right there while you wait. So I go back and I ask him to reheat it and rebutter it up, and it still tastes like cardboard. So you know, I'm almost done. I'm almost gonna have to go back to the little smaller sticks. I was going to the full pretzel. Do you guys feel the same way? I know you guys eat at Wetzel's Pretzels, but this has been happening two times in a freaking row, and it's really pissing me off. I have a question. I enjoy, I enjoy a hot, delicious Wetzel's Pretzel. How many times are you going? Like, how often are you going to Wetzel's Pretzels? That this is like. <laughs> probably um every single time i go to the mall okay okay um i'll give you my opinion then i'll i'll give it to munch i think for me personally i prefer the smaller bites of the pretzels it's just like are they fresher for you they're fresher for me you can dip them in the little cheese they're a nice little portable size yeah, i think i've been screwing it up i'm just gonna go back to the and stick. here's munch's opinion bits they're not the little sticks <laughs> yeah the bits i want the bits i gotta get the bits um And I agree with you 100%. I did get, I used to be a big pretzel getter and it was crunchy and stale and was not as good. So I got to stick with the bits. So yeah, you got to go with the bits. They're definitely fresh. Okay. Okay. All right. I like how Munch came through with the food knowledge. It's called bits. (laughs) Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. There we go. So that's Munch's Munch's Munch's, uh, food segment. Yes. Sliding into the DMs with Munch. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's well, do some celeb go. gossip, uh, shall we? Now we're on to Justine's gossip in a bottle, and uh, the first story of the, this is all celebrity gossip. It can be, you know, your A list Oscar losers to your D list people we love more than anyone in the world, and that can be uh, depending on the year. It could be David Spade. It could be anybody. David Spade's moving up in my book right now. He can be D list, B list, C list. It can pop around, you know. So this week, our first story is about Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and um, how he's with that ugly troll of a woman banging her out when he could be with Jennifer Garner, who's at home cooking bacon cookies, making sure the kids are all taken care of, taking them swimming, making sure they are all, you know, doing the best they can. They read, they write arithmetic. She's doing it all while he's off gambling, gambling, sticking his dick in dark holes where it doesn't belong. And I'm sick of it. Divorce him already. Now it's just going, she needs to just dump his ass and move on to the next hot piece, but she's just so 
Are they? He really is like a Brad Pitt. He, they're not divorced he's yet? Got a, no, it's been... So this is the case. So I guess it's been going on for three years. So they're going to dismiss the case because of delay in prosecution. Huh. So um, it's interesting. He has a whole new girlfriend and yeah, everything. And <clears throat> I don't know. He's always like... You think that they would have moved on by now, but it's bizarre. I mean, no offense to people who are from Boston who may be listening, but Boston Boston men can be a little uh, a little gnarly, I think. Uh, it's fun at first, yeah. but I can't imagine yeah, yeah. going to war with yep. them. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, he like definitely didn't he get kicked out of like a Vegas casino for counting cards or some shit? Like he definitely he's like he's like yeah, a degenerate he's, kind of gambler. I think he's obviously using his his wits to what he should be using them for. And, you know, I would do the same if I could count cards. That's what I would be oh, doing. But too. Um, well. I'm just joking. But uh, I, I love Ben Affleck. I like a skinny Ben Affleck. Sorry. I, I said it. And um, yeah. I do enjoy a Batman Ben Affleck. I just would like Jennifer, Jennifer Garner to get out of the, I want Jennifer Garner to like get out of the flannel and the jeans and like just, yeah. Know, yeah. I want to see that hot bod. Yeah. 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 Get out of those mom jeans. Yes. Get, go dance to thriller like 30 going on 30 yes, or whatever going on 30 was. classic yeah she just needs a little love her she's amazing i just you know ben affleck love you but she got burned Agreed. man what's number yeah. two number two obviously poor bethany she's you know crying tears she's at the store right now getting that funeral outfit ready what happened and um i know but- her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend died of a drug overdose it seems like oxycontin Oof. The good stuff. The good. And um, this was Dennis. I, I got I got that after I gave birth, and that's why I don't want to leave the hospital because it's amazing. Dennis is Dennis is a goner. He's that, on man. ice, and it's sadly. I'm sorry, it's, Dennis. It's a shame. It's because sad. Did you, you read, have a family? You have kids. It's sad. Yeah. Did gone. you read the the article? Said that he woke up and realized like he'd taken too many oxycodone and sent somebody to oh my god i didn't yeah, see that sent somebody holy shit yeah, really? sent somebody to go get the what's it called oh Diet. my it's god a hold on drug said- that you can get injected with that stops the effects of like was it the same yes like that one? thing and by the time they got there he was dead yeah hold on he how did he take them and wake back up i don't know realize? that's what the tmz thing said it said like he and friday i guess he took a bunch and then woke up and like realized that he'd taken too many and asked the housekeeper or somebody to like try to go get this thing and by the time they got there he was dead terrible wow can you imagine just imagine like if you you know midway through you wake up and you're like oh fuck this and you know it's too late that's wild i would have thought he would have been like unconscious i never would have thought that he could have like known that he did yeah take he woke up that's friday, wild maybe uh, his heart he was woke like up friday a.m pounding like feeling crazy. ill and asked his housekeeper to go to the pharmacy to buy narasin which blocks the effects of opioid overdose oh he woke yeah. back up and felt at like some sh- point he wow he was so it wasn't like he took yeah, a bunch like a movie and wow so it like went through his body i do want to note that holy crap lived in trump tower which is you know that's bad vibes oh, i'm reading this right bad now vibes yeah you can hey yeah good breeds good and that's bad very sad bad. though i wouldn't have thought he didn't seem like somebody who would be like on a lot of pills but i guess you never know you know maybe you get a you know you get some type of stupid foot operation and party yeah. never stops all right what else we got um oh can we, Narcan, can we talk yeah. about uh denise richards being named the newest cast member of beverly hills how do you feel about that yes i do have that as a story actually yes. and Oh, I'm so pumped. She's so beautiful. I don't know how she's defying gravity and time. She's gorgeous. She's never looked better. I saw a picture of her and Lisa Rinna. They're just going to be the best twosome in the whole world. They're the new Sonia and and Ramona. And it's going to be better than ever. And I just can't wait. And she had to sell her house to to start filming for them because with the old... A uh, house where she did yes, that one that's what reality I was gonna bring show up. with what her was, sweet dad and show? everything. What was that on? Yeah, yeah, it was on like maybe E. Yeah, it was a, it was cute. You know, she's just so pretty, and you watch and she her, had, like, you know. But dogs. it's um. <laughs> Do you remember she had so many animals? Yeah, and then the, and the poor and her mom died, and the poor dad was gonna date. It, it was really sweet. sweet, and she's just too sweet. And she adopted a baby all by herself. Like that's just crazy, she did? you know. Like a Charlie's Theron and, vibe. Yeah, she adopted. She has got the two kids with Charlie Sheen, and then she adopted an, huh. another daughter by herself, I believe. Oh, yeah, so her. I think she's going to be a great. You know, she's a she's the a greatest. Lover. I can't imagine her like getting crazy 
like do you or i guess i can but no. she's just like a level of i think bu- what she's gonna she's do just- is she's gonna be like the hippie vibes like where she's just gonna say crazy I shit so. like but that she thinks is just like what do you mean like i meant da, 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 da. and they're gonna like i see her and dory yes. going yep. head and they're gonna you? take offense to it it's gonna be it's gonna be great i think she's a perfect addition dory yes. gonna be threatened oh, she's beautiful i think so she's young well she's not young and she's done something yes. she's famous yeah. you know i hope and, um well, and, can i just say i hope charlie sheen just makes a couple <laughs> appearances like picking up the kids or something poor charlie oh my god that'd be amazing right he has to oh my god you think he comes and picks up the kids probably it's just like a, a person does it for him does he have, even huh? have visitation i don't know um probably supervised or maybe at this point who knows yeah. but yeah i'm very excited uh, very it's really for it. wild. can't wait it's gonna be amazing i just cannot it was the best casting ever now who's in the cast now it's yes. going to be lisa denise dorit kyle and, erica i can see teddy? erica and i can see yeah oh and teddy i can see erica and denise getting along i hope they do get yeah along. i think it I, yeah i think it'll be i think that's a good balanced cast i think it's way better than eileen um eileen was boring so i think it's a good yeah. like i think this yeah. is gonna be good I'm looking forward. No, Eileen's got the life. She's yeah. got the hot husband. She's yeah. got a hot bod. She's got a gorgeous face. She's aged well. Her hair's still thick. Uh, she lives in Malibu. She's got a tennis court. Yeah. She's living yeah, the life. You know, I wouldn't want to be on that show. And you know what? Go fuck yourself, Brandy. You know, I liked her house because I'm a weirdo just like Eileen. So leave her alone. I didn't think it was freakishly weird like you, Brandy. Go home to your sad little Rental. house in the Hollywood she Hills. Runs- I'm going to go to Malibu. I'm going to the boo, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Eileen. No, I like Eileen. Eileen's just not great TV. Um, like, she wasn't dramatic. Yeah, Eileen is a fun person. Yeah, she's she's a nice... She's yeah. too nice. Yeah, she's too um, Anything else we got? The third one is Beverly Beach, uh, con artist, S- Sinatra's, you know, they're... Um, you knew this what, was what, coming. What, what, what? How could they just ramp up their being sued? The um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills stars Dorit Kemsley and Pete PK no. are sued over a swimmer line. P- PK, they're being sued for over two hundred thousand dollars by their business partner Ryan the Shark Horn okay. per Los Angeles court documents obtained by Page Six. Oh, what are they getting sued for? Um, like, what did they? What claimed that the trio orally agreed to work together in August 2017? I'm sure PK definitely did with his company paying for advances on mm. the line, and the Kemsleys reimbursing him. So it looks like he's not getting mm-hmm. reimbursed. Uh, he sent the couple one hundred twenty nine thousand dollars in advance costs. Never received a dime back, and now the company's worth three hundred k, and they've kept it all for mm. themselves. So you knew that. Was I mean, coming. it's amazing to me that it's just crazy. You see these stories all the time of these people just fronting all this money to people with an oral agreement. Like I don't understand how you give someone hundreds of thousands of dollars without a contract. I would never. You have to write, write it down. It's your own fault. Get a contract. Go on to LegalZoom.com. <laughs> yes. It's not that yes, hard. Exactly. You know? yes, not. Write it on a napkin. At least you can fight that. You're at McDonald's. Write it down. I mean, you're an idiot. All that money and you're just no, giving it away. Stupid. You no see this all it. the time with people, like especially with celebrities or like fringe celebrities, people just giving them money with like promises. I'm like, I don't understand. I would never do that. Shit. I'm sorry. So I kind of feel like Dorit Kemp. He deserves to lose that rock money. hard boob job. Doesn't really make you forget about the money that much, no. honey. Like, no. give yeah. me a break. Um, you got anything else before we dive into some no. Bravo? Last story, yeah. real quick, is Brangelina. See you late. Uh, Brad Pitt's really paying for that karma. You saw how and, much he's uh, paid Brand- her? And Angelina Jolie is broke. You can obviously tell she's broke. Brad Pitt is going to be broke with her. He's going down the Titanic sinking quick. He better make some movies. So and, he's um, paying her. He's said he's paid her $1.5 million in the last three months or something in child support. Yeah. And like $8 million for a house. That's that's loan. the issue, though. If you have eight kids and you're worth fucking $50 million, it's a percentage of your income for child like for child support. It's, it's a formula yeah. no matter how much well, money and, you uh, So you're fucked. He has well, yeah, yeah, children. yeah. He's he's got a yeah. That's your but um. He gave her eight million dollars supposedly after they had already broken up, which is a nice gesture. But Pitt, like but, he kind of made his bed, unfortunately. And like again, I've always felt that you know who Angelina Jolie was. You've known. She yeah, got, yeah. She's a snake. Yeah, you're right. A hundred percent in her eyes. <laughs> I'm surprised he made it out alive. Yeah, same. One of my favorite movie scenes is Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie 
in in Mr. and Mrs. Smith when they're in the 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 white yes, teeth, long great, shirts classic. fight in. That was fun, yeah. you know. Yeah, they were good. She never looked better. They both never looked physically no, he looked better. So good and then. That's also superficially a rock. That's also world. when he was filming like the Oceans um, Eleven, where he looked super hot. He was so yeah, he hot. Oh my god. Oh, I just love him. He so was great much. then, and then he had a real good phase with like the Legends of the Fall time when he had like kind of the longer yeah, hair. Yeah, he went through a rough. I think he's coming back yeah, now. No, he went. He went through a rough well, spot. You know, he went through a rough. He got the life yeah, sucked out of him. It, it literally, is what he looks like hundred yeah. percent. All right, let's do it. We're moving Nasty. on to Bravo. Um, let's start with Below Deck Med. Um, I All will right. take us through, ask you some cues. Um, so this week on Below Deck Med, Sandy, who is the captain, who's amazing, um, had her friends really on is. board. Um, so it was a group of women who seemed super relaxed. The, there wasn't much drama with the guests. I always am like, I always think about this show when they have the guests that are in bed by like 10, 1030. They're probably like, so I know I, I like, saw that. I'm like, wow, they're going to bed right? so they, early. They it's have amazing. to like be up till 2 a.m. Pouring people shots and dealing with people's bullshit. It's yeah, literally like they eat dinner crazy. and they go to bed. I feel like another shitty salad right. with swordfish. I don't want. I don't want swordfish on my fucking okay, salad. Thank you. I was going to get to that. So when they arrive on the boat, they bring, you know, they always have like a welcome lunch. And we just ranted last week about the bullshit salad. And there was another fucking salad. I just. Like, oh, I wanted to barf eating this. It's so gross. I'd rather eat a McDonald's one with E. coli and shit my brains out and weigh 10 pounds less. That's disgusting. <laughs> I was thinking like. Oh my I, god! I would have been right off the jump. I would have said I would have been pissed. I want some. I want something hot. Yes. I want something cold. Give me a fresh. I'm not asking for much, but just give me a freaking lunch. I agreed. I would literally. I would go go get the chef. I want. Oh, I thought I want some fried chicken. Give me That's what I want. Hot. That's what I would want. I want some hot, crispy fried yeah. chicken coleslaw. I want something like that when I'm looking at totally. the. At yeah. The, so yeah. the. The episode continues the fight between Hannah and Conrad. So Hannah's the chief stew. Conrad is the bosun who's like 23. And they fought over. She asked him. No, he asked her for like 50 euros to reimburse her for cigarettes or something. She flipped out. Um, I just thought it was so stupid. She continues to talk about it. And like he goes to try to talk to her. And she's like, the damage has already been done to him. I'm like, what, what are you, oh what my God. you talking about? The damage has been done because he asked you God, to pay he... him back for shit that you bought. Uh... Like, I don't understand. They're really she's so gross. and their relationship is literally just i hate yeah, her. me too their relationship is cigarettes and then conversations it's so it's disgusting it. oh it's so gross and fighting it's like terrible when he got into joao's face so so conrad and joao joao is another conrad is the chief bosun or whatever you would say and that guy's like right? a deckhand joao is below yeah. him but joao seems like he should be the chief in my eye i mean conrad i guess He's dragging the slide. I still can't get over him dragging the slide in the middle of the ocean. It didn't make sense to me. And that was just like bizarre. He's definitely 23 in so, some ways, but, you know, he's trying. So, when, yeah, yeah. So when they're fighting, um, he did seem so hot when he got into Joao's oh, face. Like he was ready to pop Joao. And Joao, I thought, would take yeah. him. But, yeah, I like the jo- I like Conrad with the little let him fighting. I like that. Well, he, yeah, he I thought he looked so shoe, cute. Jow, wow, wow. How do you say his fucking name? That would piss me off too. Don't. I would take my shoe and smack Wait, him in the face. Do you with remember it. when yeah. you stole someone's yeah. shoe downtown? Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah. Oh well, no, I didn't. I, someone I was with chucked someone's shoe, and then I had to pay for <laughs> it. Oh, I made it clean out of there. Yeah, yeah. You you know? No, I was with some bad people. When when people don't have when people don't have a good sense of humor and they take things too far, and then you know I got pushed down and it wasn't my fault yeah, and i remember, I remember the bruises the next night hanging out yeah i had a huge scab from my elbow to my i almost I died oh my died. god some guy came charging at me pushed me down my friends chucked somebody's shoe you know i just play in jest with people other people take it too yeah, far you know yeah. you're but the bystander anyway. um all right i had so, a question for you I, I'm, I'm an innocent little fawn in this exactly. mommy um, so Casey, right. Casey started is one of the stewardesses. She started the season like seasick constantly, lied on her resume. Now she's like actually seeming to be doing work. So I was just wondering, how do you feel about her? She Have does. You, yeah. Has your perception of her changed? I like her. I hate. Yeah, it yeah. has. You know, I like her actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't 
I hate Hannah so, so much that I just can't watching Hannah sit there and take smoke breaks. Well, so that throughout the episode, they're push. talking about the two stewardesses are literally doing the entire charter. Like they're doing everything. They have to climb up this. I felt it was fucked up. They had to do a lunch for them, for the guests at the top of this fucking mountain. It looks like they walked, what, 30 minutes straight uphill with like boxes and coolers. And Hannah was nowhere to be found. Like she doesn't work at all. It's crazy. A- after this, I can't imagine hiring her again she's not even fun to watch i don't want to no, watch her it's anymore. crazy i just don't understand what she's doing it just seems like preposterous i think brooke i i feel brooke bad for brooke yeah down. and brooke is a chief too on other yes. on other boats and so yeah, she's creating these beautiful tablescape she does i know and i like casey you know she's good improved. for her i mean it's crazy to not have sex for that long but good for her she doesn't she's looking for like some magical person which is nice and yeah. she'll find somebody um, i love I sandy so much when um, she was invited to lunch she was like you know i don't want to go to lunch do i want to go sit with them no i want to work i want to plan out the next day i want to look at the weather i was like i just love her she's <laughs> yeah <laughs> i love sandy so she's amazing i love that she gives people opportunities yes. she let the yep. deckhand jamie yep. drive the boat i just think she's so cool yeah really she seems like her. she actually wants to be like a mentor um to the younger people which is cool because a lot of times in the workplace you see people that are bosses just being dicks and she like takes time with people which i think is good yeah i really love her and i can't imagine her letting hannah work again with her it's just so yeah, frustrating no, she's, i mean i think after you watch this show how can hannah be right re-heard? hannah to me seems like the ultimate bullshitter right like she always seems like she's like directing people conducting yeah. telling people what to do but she's not doing yeah. anything herself ever she's like never working literally and then so i i did retweet something that ben the he's one of the he's ben is another um, cook chef and he's amazing i I prefer the show with him he's his accent just fools me into thinking he's a better cook and and um he said on they asked his opinion uh do you what's his name do you think adam does a good job or whatever and and um ben said i try not to think about it or something like that yeah it, no it was shady I, I it was adam, a shady moment so like what ben does he does the same shit right every charter has like the same sauce the same like but his food is like quality does he does this would no, he give them a, give a freaking salad? salad that's what i'm saying um oh also i had to comment yeah, on the wine so these people were like wine people yeah yes they were so yes. popular get up get a huge thing of ice and just stick that wine in every there. time they're like it's 29 degrees it needs to be 30 degrees and then it was like it's a little warm it's a little cold they were like the fucking goldilocks of wine it was like calm down if you're so particular tell well, people i understand i, I like cold too. wine i, I like cold wine and, and, and no see i'm on the side of um of the guest yeah. on this one because i like ice fucking yeah. cold wine nobody wants to i mean that's my my, my thing i'm a nice person i'll i'll tip you they should have yeah. tipped more but the thing is, I might be a little more like I want my cold, my ice cold. But OK, as a waitress, as an ex waitress, as an ex, if that was me and I could see the importance of that shit, I would have gone and gone crazy. It would I would have made it too cold for them. Their teeth would have been chattering. It would have fallen out into the into the cup. It was so cold. They would have been blown away. There's no excuse for it. Just go stick it I in. Agree. Freaking you know, ice. we were out to dinner. Um it drove we were out me to dinner crazy. the other night and the wine came and it was already like super condensed on the outside like already fully wet i'm like what the fuck like that means the wine's been sitting out at room temperature for 30 minutes then you're serving it to us and we're paying for a yeah bottle. it's unacceptable agreed i used to have these hillbillies that wanted milk from the freezer i would put a glass in the freezer and then pour milk for these hillbillies it probably tipped me two dollars you know but when somebody asks for something i want to give them what they want because when somebody gives me what i want i will i will go above and beyond to tip them yeah. It, it just drives me crazy. No. It's not that if hard just to make sure some wine is cold. you're working in a fucking customer service job, then you have to be fucking customer service oriented. You can't just be lazy like Hannah. I mean, I get it was annoying, but they were nice. They ate the cold, they ate the nasty swordfish salad, and then they went and ate some goldfish that they had in their bag because they needed to eat something. It was disgusting. God, I'm over it. Okay. All right. No. Sorry. Any other? Yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else for below deck the wine. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Uh, yeah. Conrad and Hannah making up and crying on the deck. I Not could do without her. Conrad. Get a life. Hannah, I hate you. Hannah, have some balls 100%. and break Leave up with that him. Poor boy alone. She just bugs me. She's so gross. She's, she's so gross. That poor child oh. alone. He's too young for her fuckery. 
she grosses me out i just all right talk no sandals about on. new york because i thought it was there was it was not like a lot of action in this episode but there were some classic uh, moments so we yeah. begin yeah in yeah. ramona's hamptons house that she recently renovated um and she starts taking you around the house and at first glance it does look you're like oh okay it's very clean it's very white it, it looked nice. very yeah, yeah, a la yeah. kim and kanye minimalistic bullshit like very white she plugs Jill Zarin for the rugs, says that her dogs can shit and pee on them. No problem. Which I thought was like fucking potty training. Oh animals. my God. It's so disgusting. Obviously they just are on the reg doing that. It's disgusting. And after a while, the carpet's going to be soaking through to the bottom of the it's floor. Disgusting. It's disgusting. So, so she takes them through, right? Then a Luann arrives. I just have to, I wrote down three quotes. Luann said that she, Luann was throwing so much shade from the moment she walked in. I love Luann. She walks Luanne's in. Amazing. She, she she's stands amazing. at the entryway. She looks around. She's like, oh, she's missing a, a trim piece there, right? So immediately the critical eye is on. She keeps going through. She goes, she just got new furniture and she just went on overstock, which <laughs> I thought was great. And then she said, she said, if this is the reveal, <laughs> it was like, she keeps talking about the house. If this is the reveal, it's revealing. So she was hating on the house. <laughs> she was hating on the house <laughs> from the first moment. Um, but it did look just kind of like, Later in the episode, she was amazing too, telling her real so thoughts good. to. Uh, so I think Bethany the kitchen, too. like yeah. the kitchen of her house, looked great. The rest of it looked like she just literally bought new furniture. Like it looked the same. I don't know. It looked like Karen oh Huger's God, it house. Did look like Karen Huger's house. That's so accurate. Yeah. So, so my one thought on Ramona is though she did divorce. She did right. What did know. Mario get? She yeah. got the house in the Hamptons. She got the apartment in the city. Amazing. Like go girl, yeah, you got it she all. Really did. I just love it. Um, I love it. So they could, wish she would get a man. She should have a man by now. I you thought would she, she would. would too. I I'm think just surprised. Just kind of being out on the scene. Seems like she would take a man. She would take good care of a man, though. Do you? You know I what I like mean? Want someone? To I really do. Her. I do. Interesting. I do. I think she finds the right man. She's cooking for him. She's doing everything he wants. Yeah. I really do. Um, yeah. They continue but, okay. the shit talk from Columbia. Evidently, they've had like three week diarrhea. I don't understand how they got so sick. Um, Sonia, the, they show a flashback of them leaving Cartagena, and Sonia's wearing a diaper, an adult diaper. <laughs> It's I can't even I can't even with I mean, her. Just, She's amazing. She's just ridiculous. Um, then. Oh, and then Tinsley's crying about how she feels so bad that the trip went terrible. And now no one's going to trust her to like do a trip. When they said that the only hard the only bad time was them. It was three to four minutes. That's what one of them oh, said. Okay. Ramona or one of them said that. So why could they not pick filming? Back I mean, up? Maybe they're afraid for their lives. I don't know. Not worried about us trying footage. <laughs> I don't know. They got one job, you know, like just get it done. I, you know, and someone made a good point. Where's the audio? Yeah. At least the audio. audio. You're right. You know, Um, come on. I just think, I don't know. And Tinsley still sticking with the thing that like, she really must be on so many antidepressants that she just doesn't realize death is upon her until the, 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 clock is ticking i don't understand it it was wild it's really entertaining makes me yeah, like her more just, that she's, she's really sticking, sticking to, to it um you know that plane's crashing and she's just yeah, yeah she has her glam done, team no next her. she's ready to go um oh real quick though but carol do you agree with carol relating an abusive relationship to the boat ride i just feel like tinsley's a space kid yeah. and she's crazy it, but it was a little bizarre to I, to go was, that deep with it. I, I, maybe, I just don't maybe feel like I'm you should often compare things enough. to an abusive relationship. Like it's not or right. a, like a weird boat ride that Tinsley might just be right. like drunk. I don't know. It was weird. And Tinsley, uh, uh, I, why do you want to be friends with someone uh, yeah, who's that I don't, condescending? I don't really get it. Um, yeah, I think I think Carol um, is super dramatic. She t- pretends like she's not, but her descriptions of things are like she's definitely a writer. She just elaborates too much uh, yeah um so we're talking yeah, exactly okay now on yeah, yeah so on to the house, house or bethany's um housewives i think the difference between her house so she's many. had a lot of apartments so many that they flash back it's i know like really sad and she's in like her workers are doing it, it is for kind her. of it's sad. really sad the, it makes she enters really sad. like i mean a i hate moving so the fact that she just came back and the house was like fully complete but it also feels like they're setting up like it was sad it really scared me. it made me setting up for something bad to happen in her life i don't know i feel i don't think it's i don't see light coming i see well, you saw it when her and dorinda were talking after she showed her the house she was like you know who knows i may be forever alone and i felt like that was very telling 
Um, I could just, I don't see her really with like a partner. I don't know. I just, yeah, she, I don't like, either. I don't see what her. Kind of, what kind of guy would you see Bethany me. with? I can't even really think about who it would be. Nobody. I, th- I think she's un, I, I don't think she, it's hard to be in a relationship. I don't yeah. think she can be in a relationship. And that's what yeah, I just think agreed. there's people like that. Um, and maybe she'll just screw people here and there. But I can't imagine. It would take a man to like really yes. just tune yeah. her um, out. So the, they leave the apartment. Luann and Bethany go to like a lip place to make lipstick. Just an excuse for them to film together, I think. Um, but they were talking about Carol. And Bethany yeah, said I like. I know what that was. I couldn't she said something like Bethany catch. said like she wants light friends like about Carol. And then Luann responded with like her men. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was yes, very, telling, very telling and I, on both ends. Um Adam is a, a space cadet and she does right. she does want yeah. to deal and with Bethany, Luann on her you know? kitchen, she said yeah. she said well she was describing like the set of her console, she said there were three inches of marble like a funeral. The thick, the thick, <laughs> like a funeral headstone. <laughs> I loved that too. I thought that was great. I thought that was great. I oh love I'm loving Luann. Luann Go, also, tell me how you really feel. She also said about Ramona, me, she said Bunny, money can't buy her class. She's my inspiration. <laughs> so I loved good. that. I loved it. I loved it. So let's see what it's else. So oh, true. so Carol and Dorinda, they go to lunch and Carol walks into lunch carrying a copy of her memoir or her book, like the widow's guide, where I'm like her book. That she was her book. With copies okay. of oh her my own God. book. Oh my god, that's gross! Just so ridiculous. That's she weird. also called this year a professionally transforming you know year. Like she's accomplished a lot. Sure, you You're wrote one article. Fired. In that's why. Politan. I don't really get it. She also mentions that Bethany reached out to the scarf dude from the episode a couple episodes ago. The guy is speed dating. I yeah, wonder. Yeah, yeah. What's the truth? I don't there? know. Who's, I I think it's believe? a little weird. I feel like Bethany wouldn't be that kind of desperate person, but I don't know. Yeah, and they say that she was lying about the things before. That's what Dorinda said on Watch What Happens Live, or Ramona said that. So. So maybe uh, Bethany is a liar. I don't know. She's fooling everybody because everyone's so, team Bethany. It's amazing. It's really weird. What do you I have think not met really happened Carol between Bethany and Carol. Like, I, do you really think it's all over the the like trip that they were supposed to go on the volunteer trip? I think it could be the trip. I think some stuff happened. I think Carol is more hurt with Adam and um, and Bethany did diss Adam. I think it has something to do with that. I think Carol wants to be yeah. the star and Bethany's the star. I think Bethany does. I think Bethany is a lot, but you just have to yeah. kind of take her with a grain of salt. And at the end of the day, she is just damaged. And she really seemed to care about Carol. I think it has to do with a lot of yeah. a lot has to do with Adam, I think. And I think Adam doesn't like Bethany and she doesn't realize subconsciously how much she's still into That's Adam. a very accurate analysis. That's what I, I kind of feel is. like that is what it is. It just seems weird. Like there's some kind of shit they are not talking about that happened. Cause it seems, that it just seems too dramatic F- to just be, yeah. it's not. Yeah. And that's her personality. Like me, I want to talk everything yeah. out. Carol yeah. just wants to um, shut so you out. So next shut up you they up. have a party yeah. for <laughs> Ramona has a soft launch for her skincare, um, ageless skincare line. Um, I don't even know what that. Yeah, she. Yeah, uh, I like Tinsley shows up in a fucking ridiculous outfit with pigtails, wearing a Columbia sweatshirt, and she graduated from Columbia, which I find very surprising. Shocked. I was shocked. Oh and but God. she's so Did cute. You? I loved that no. cute, that outfit. I'm sorry. I loved the pigtails. I did. I thought she looked so cute. If You're I'm for if I'm her okay. age and I can pull that yeah. off, God bless yeah. her. She's cute. I thought she looked cute. I think I think she's I really enjoy her. I don't know. She's really grown on me over the last couple of seasons. She's she's really pretty I don't know, too. I felt like that Glam Squad does her right. I'm sorry. But oh, Sonia, was it too much? I I appreciate it more than Ramona yeah. showing up yeah, in a black right. dress. You know, yeah. at least she's um, trying. Sonia the showed theme, up you know? <laughs> with her shoes yeah. in tow like a traveling salesman. Like literally came in. <laughs> Oh my God, she's amazing. And she's not going to oh give God. them to the people that made fun of her. People try on shoes amazing. in the party. I'm just like, you are yeah. a mess. Um, I love her. She's going to have a line she of diapers. If she's smart, that's what she should do. Right? Why not? It'd probably be bedazzled. I'd buy the Sonia diaper. Oh my God, you do need it. <laughs> I need <laughs> it. I really do. Um, and I then do. Sonia and Bethany go to Sonia's jeans manufacturer. Or I mean, Bethany's. Um, can I just? I don't even know what that was about. I would try him. Did you yeah. see the I, I'll jeans buy a pair guy who's giving the tour? What he was wearing? He was wearing a plaid shirt with a cropped fur vest. He looked like. Oh my god! He <laughs> I didn't like really such a check it out. Bag. I missed that. Oh my god! 
I was like so in, enthralled with um, Sonia talking about the dryers yeah, yeah. and how they Sonia's murder people in them that but I couldn't I, get over I that. So, like, yeah. Do you feel like Carol is getting replaced her. by be best Sonia friends with her for yeah. Bethany? Like, I feel like Beth. It's just funny. A couple seasons ago, uh, Bethany's bitch and Sonia out for stealing her name. Now they're best friends. Now so now Ramona's or now Bethany's like, you know, Sonia. She's just funny or whatever like totally praising her a couple seasons ago she was ripping her eyes out so it's just funny whenever it's convenient for yeah. for uh um, if carol was I, around carol would be there you know yeah it, carol drives the bus I think in she that likes relationship that too, which she is likes funny that it's interesting um my wrap-up question yeah. for you because that's about all i had yeah. on new york yeah. was are you would you buy tickets for luann's cabaret i don't know i haven't okay. heard i would if, if i could Tyler. go with you i would but I don't know if I would drag Tyler there after I've put him through so much housewives torture. That's all we have okay. for housewives. I okay. think okay. Um, we usually do a clip of the week, which is where we tell somebody to shut up. I think we're just going to allow Justine has a little bit of a mini rant she wants to end us with. So what do you have? What do you got? Okay. Well, in honor of one of the Who? greatest men, okay. Americans of all time, um, Lionel Richie. I want Lionel Richie to... Yes. Oh, no. Long. I want yes. him to go over, get in his Bentley, and pop Scott Disick in the nuts because he deserves it if he thinks he's going to dump poor little Sophia on the side of the street for Kourtney Kardashian just because she's single. Give it at least six months, Scott. Cheat on her for six months with Kourtney. He's going to do it. He's going to do it immediately. They were sitting the other Kylie's right birthday away. thing last night. She but. looks smoking hot. I can't blame her. I can't blame him. Imagine being Sophia Lionel Richie had to and your come in a little bit, daughter I feel is dating for Scott her, you know? Like, just, you, like, I mean, that's just got to be the worst. Lionel Richie, you're American royalty. You're literally like, oh, my God. Yeah. Ameri- I love him. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah. I'm on the watch yeah. for that. That's all the thing. That's all I care about with this. Yeah, so we, so um, that's we our encourage everybody um, to week, watch you know. 90 Day Fiance yeah. before the 90 days. We'll be reviewing that. I'm selling that to everybody that we um, <laughs> talk to. And we'll talk more Housewives next episode. Catch up on all the jam. Um, yeah, thanks to our, our, new, uh, our new guest star. Thanks to so if you guys have any food questions, feel free to <laughs> tweet us. Escape to Reality Podcast. Yeah. Ask them. We'll, we'll get Munch's opinion. Um, but we um, are on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. Please subscribe and give us your thoughts. We appreciate it. And we'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye. See you, see you next time.